Hi, Publisher Tatum. We have a, a wonderful group of folks here, uh, two pages of them assembled uh, here today. And I'm going to turn the, the baton over to Mike to make uh, his announcement to you um, from Editor and Publisher Magazine. Eleanor, I just saw you in Chicago. How are you? I'm good. What, what's going on here? I had a feeling my wife is there. Is that correct? Uh, yes, she is. And one of our associate editor or our, the associate editor is there, Gretchen Peck. Is that correct? Yes, yes, she right. is. Well, I'm down here in Nashville because we couldn't afford to fly me with Robin. But I'm going to put on my screen a <laughs> mock up, if I may, of the November cover of E&P magazine, although you will have the right to change oh, it. Oh, my God. You are the publisher of the year for 2024. Congratulations. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> I don't oh know. Oh my gosh. Eleanor, this is <laughs> this has gone on for about a uh, hundred years. ENP has always I've only had the magazine Rob and I for five, but we continued the tradition and the honor. You will be the fate. You can pick a better photo. We had it's up, it's totally up to you. You'll have time before we go to press, and we're going to be doing a background article on you. And you will be uh I was joking with the group here, they're all here to salute you today that it's possible you are definitely there's no question the first black woman publisher we've ever featured on the cover of EMP. it will be the november 2024 issue you may be sharing that with another <coughs> famous first black woman we're not sure yet but we will know that in 30 days but congratulations eleanor we're so honored to have you as our as our publisher of the year this year congratulations Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. So proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I, but I, great I, I, work. I, I couldn't do this without the great staff that I have. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wouldn't be here where I am today without them. And of course, without my fantastic parents who who taught me everything I know and um and thank you Robin and thank yeah. you Mike I've been and she's thinking. given us an amazing tour it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. pretty special yeah, yeah. very special. Yeah. 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 Thank you. thank you thank you yeah but I mean my staff is pretty damn awesome <laughs> yeah, thank you thank you for nominating me Stravon I know you nominated me <laughs> a long time ago but I didn't Oh my God, I, <laughs> I had no idea. Well, I just want to give credit, Publisher Tatum. It was uh, the usual two-step tango with Damaso and I. So um, uh, nominating you and it was our honor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and this was, this was an absolute shock. That we're not going to use that photo. It's, it's only about photo. 20 years old. <laughs> It's a great photo. <laughs> you still look exactly the same. So yes, it's a no great harm, no photo. foul there. Yeah. I'm, only, I'm only about 40 pounds lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, everybody. Um, we are so proud of you, Ellie. Absolutely, 100%. Thank you. Most definitely. And thank you for everyone that's joined the call. Oh my God, so many folks on this call. Oh my God, I'm just like scrolling through right now and looking and it's amazing. Oh my God, Amy, you're there too. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. So proud of you. Wow. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. I want, I want to like say thank you and hello to everybody that's on here but i mean i can't even see like 30 of you are on here right now <laughs> oh my gosh thank you i mean this is such an amazing honor and and i just you know emp wow thank you uh, thank you, you thank you more than deserving um uh, well well i'll have to send you the nomination from that that Sam put in, but, um, I, you know, just if I didn't even know you and didn't even know what you've done here and the amazing work you're doing, uh, it would have been a slam dunk. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a long time coming, just like so many things in this country are, but you are so deserving. Well, you really are. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And to all of my staff that's on here, 
you know, it's, it's been a wild ride and thank you for sticking with us. <laughs> and, you know, we got a lot more work to do, but, you know, you know, we're poised to, to, to move mountains and, you know, we just have to keep on keeping on as they say. And, you know, hopefully in the next few months, a lot of things will hopefully move in our right direction. Yeah. And, you know, the hard work and dedication you've all shown, has proven that we can do anything we put our minds to and you know if we all work together and so thank you and thank you shannon for being here in person <laughs> thank you I hope you told a lot of staff to come today but well you know me i'm always here <laughs> <laughs> thank you josh for everything that you do and siobhan again thank you and all our friends that are on this call thank you so so much really 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 appreciate you and appreciate all your oh what a pretty award that is <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we couldn't get it here in time they were backed up three weeks so we said we'll, we'll it'll be in in the mail <laughs> <laughs> well thank you well thank you so much um i'm really really appreciative of this and um right. I Eleanor, I want to thank you. This is Carmen Quinones. I want to thank you for the millions of community people that are out here that don't have a voice and you're always there ready to ready to challenge the status quo. I love you and I just want you to know that there are millions of people that appreciate what you do every day. Oh, thank well, you. Thank you and thank you for all your help in helping us to get the newspaper into the hands of the people that that need it the most and you have been such a stalwart supporter of ours and in helping us with our mission so we appreciate you so so much thank you thank love you. you love you too thank eleanor you. it's charmaine i have to run but i am so team eleanor team eleanor. <laughs> Long time. Oh, thank you, Charmaine. Uh, thank you. Really appreciate you. And, you know, with this being, you know, also my 30th anniversary here at the oh, paper, yeah. um, you know, it means it means the world to me. Um, so thank you all so, so much. You've accomplished a, an incredible amount in just the last couple of years. Yeah. But 30 years here. I mean, holding down the fort, you, I mean, we were talking earlier, you were talking about all of the major events that have happened, you know, under your watch. And it's, and we looked at so many covers that were just, I, it's, this is, this was a glimpse of history for me today. And, yeah. um, and you, you're keeping watch over all of it. And it's just, it's phenomenal. It really is. Well, thank you. Long Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Much more emotional than I think I've ever been in getting an award. <laughs> and, uh, Publisher Tatum, if I may, um, um, you know, three years ago, we embarked on a journey to bring the Amsterdam News Renaissance to life, paralleling, right, the Harlem Renaissance. And so much has been accomplished. And so I just want to make sure every single person on this call, staff, contractors, vendors, friends, all of you were invited to be part of this call because you are all part of what we're trying to achieve here. And we couldn't do it without you. It's a team effort all the way from staff to contractors, to vendors, to freelancers um, with friends like you, Carmen, friends like you, Amy, you know, to our amazing uh, freelancer team under Kristen's beautiful leadership, our amazing editorial team under Damaso's leadership um, Josh, everything you do every day to grow our digital footprint to be now the largest of any legacy black newspaper in America. So there's just so much that's being achieved. We have our union friend, Chevelle Knox on the call. Thank you so much, Chevelle. We couldn't do it without you. Ron Burke, thank you so much for everything you do. Ron Scott, thank you so much for everything you do. There's so many of us on this call that it's a team effort and we couldn't do it without your leadership publisher Tatum. So Please, another round of applause for our amazing leader, publisher. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I also want to, you know, er earlier today, I was showing, um, I was showing everyone here um, the photograph that we have, the old staff photograph. And I just want to acknowledge um, all of our staff members who have passed yes. over the years, um, because we looked at that picture and saw how many of them are missing today. Mm -hmm. 
including my dad. Mm-hmm. And uh, they've all been a huge part of the legacy. Amen. And uh, making the Amsterdam news what it is today. Absolutely. No question. Absolutely. And I just want to give a quick shout out too, to your amazing advertising team who've been with your paper. <clears throat> How many years, Ollie and Bill? Um, tirelessly bringing the revenue in. 10 years, tirelessly bringing the revenue in. And uh, we couldn't put the paper out each week unless Amanda was there uh, and Stephanie to get the paper out. Thank you, you two. And Benita, Benita is the one that makes sure that people buy subscriptions. So thank you. <laughs> work. Yeah. And, I, and the I, folks I, at LMA. LMA, Jay, <laughs> Lindsay, absolutely. Yes, we couldn't do it without all of you. Couldn't do it. Thank and you. you're pretty awesome yourself, Miss. You're oh. pretty awesome yourself. My pleasure. My pleasure. We wouldn't know what to do without you either. Well, it, it's my know. honor and privilege. So my honor and privilege. Am I allowed to make one final uh, just thought here, if I may? Hey, if you, okay? You've got nine. We got nine minutes. So go for it, Mike. I just wanted to say that these may be friends of yours, um, Eleanor. Um, you know Judy, don't you? And PJ. Um, if you want to ask what it's like to be publisher of the year, they are recent recipients of the same cover in November. So there you go. And I think you share a lot with them at the LMA, correct? I saw you all together in Chicago. So you, you, you're, 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 in, you're in good company. How does that sound? Yeah, well, strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I love to see that you guys, you know, put women front and center. And uh, I think it's so important. And I just appreciate you, Mike. I appreciate you, Robin. And thank you. Thank you for all the work that you do. Uh, you've got a very important publication. And uh, you you bring forward the, you know, the information that we as publishers need. And we appreciate you. You're the reason we're here. So. Well, thank you. Thank and you. Uh, Publisher Tatum, I think we have a few minutes. Maybe we can do a quick round robin. Everyone just say whatever comes to your heart first. A few words. We'll start with you, Kristen. I'm absolutely 100% so proud of you, Eleanor. The way you've helmed this massive undertaking, this legacy, and are bringing it forward with grace and power. I, I'm. That's it. I'm so proud. I'm really, really proud of you, babe. Thank you for being with me for all of these years, Kristen. <clears throat> Ron Scott. Oh, Eleanor, I just want to thank you so much because you're the person that personally hired me when we were at the consulate downtown. You came up and asked me, you said, oh, do you write jazz? We're looking, we're looking for a jazz writer. <laughs> and at the time, you didn't know the only paper that I ever wanted to write to because, write for because the Mel Tapley and Booker and the guys was the Amsterdam News. You know, my close friend Charles Rogers you know, had had a column with you for many years before he passed away. So you made my you made my dream come through, and I thank you so much, and all the best, and and keep doing what you're doing, and we're here to support you. I love it, Tommaso. Yeah, um, it hasn't been quite thirty years that I've known Eleanor, but um, it's pretty darn getting- close. Getting, get, getting close. And as some of you may know, uh, Eleanor gave me my first paid opportunity in journalism as a 16 year old. Uh, I became a, a freelance photographer and eventually a freelance writer and then an intern and then a bunch of other things. Um, and as I said at NABJ uh, earlier this year, um, the Amsterdam News has been the place that has given me the opportunities to do work that's important to me about my community when nobody else would. And that's 100% Eleanor Tatum is responsible for that. Even when other people at the Amsterdam News didn't want me uh, working at the Amsterdam News in those very early days because I was both annoying and precocious, uh, Eleanor- And not much has changed. (laughs) Not much has changed. Um, Eleanor gave me that opportunity. She saw she saw something uh, in me which uh, other people didn't recognize, and for that I'm always going to be deeply grateful. And it's been a real privilege uh, to have her trust and to take on uh, you know this role of both investigative and and now executive editor and help us uh, to better serve in our community and also reach a larger larger audience. And 
you know, again, that's 100% the result of, of Eleanor's uh, uh -huh. vision and capacity for, for change. And uh, I'm deeply grateful for that. Cool. And I'm deeply grateful to you, Damaso, for helping us affect the change that you have. Um, couldn't have done it without you. Love it. And uh, I'm going to turn to Felicia really quickly because she's shoehorned this in a, a, bit, a bunch of other meetings, as did Amy. Go for it, Felicia. Well, Eleanor, I, I had to get out of my meetings and jump on this call because I thought it was so historic. Um, you know, 125 years uh, later, it, it's taken to have a you on the cover and a Black woman on the cover. It's such an inspiration. And I'm so thrilled for you, but most of all, thrilled to be part of the Amsterdam news team and, uh, you know, and represent the Caribbean and immigrants. So uh, congratulations and thank you, e &P, for recognizing, uh, you know, this Black woman and Black journalism. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to turn to Chevelle Knox. Chevelle, a few words from you, my friend, from the labor community. Um, hi, uh, congratulations. Um, I'm so, so happy for you. Uh, honestly, we haven't had many interactions, but when I did meet you last year, um, it really changed my life to see such a beautiful woman and, um, and the way that you lead with grace. I never witnessed that before. And I just, I'm inspired. You can you and and I grew up with the Amsterdam News in my household, and just to see you behind all of it was just like wow. So congratulations, and it's so it's befitting. So I hope you just like bask in all of this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chevelle. That's very sweet. Thank you. Beautiful words. We're going to go to Jay Small, the co-leader of uh, the local media association. We're honored to have you with us, Jay. Oh, uh, uh, thanks, Siobhan. And Eleanor, you know, we love you at uh, at LMA and LMF land. And uh, I, I'm sure Nancy would have joined, but she's, as you, as I think you know, she's uh, enjoying some much deserved PTO. But on behalf of everybody at, at, at LMA, congratulations. And this is very richly deserved. Oh, thank you so much, Jay. Thank you to, to everyone at LMA. And now we have uh, someone who's tirelessly worked to bring the money in the door, Bill Atkins. Hello, everyone. Ms. Tatum, Eleanor, what can I say that has not been said? Uh, I'm truly proud of you as well. And I, I've seen how diligently you have worked. And, you know, when you see the boss working so hard, how can you not try to work twice as hard? And you instill that in all of us. And that's where we are, where we are today. <clears throat> and I'm going to be very quick. But I just want to correlate one other thing. Five months and 10 years ago, when I did join, I was transitioning from radio broadcast print to print and fielding other options. And my final decision was, I want to work for black publication. 10 years later, here I am, and I couldn't be happier. So congratulations, Eleanor. We really love you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Publisher Taylor, I didn't mean to talk over you. My apologies. Uh, okay. um, Karen. Karen, you've been with the paper over 30 years. Am I correct in saying that, my friend? Sure I have. I don't know what the number is, but I'm sure I have. But yes, I, I worked with uh, Eleanor's father. Um, remember Eleanor coming in. So congratulations, Eleanor. This is a terrific honor. Um, it's great for you. Great for the paper. And, you know, to, to continue our legacy. Thank you, Karen. On to Ariyama, one of our, our new young reporters that joined us from a report for America. And we were so impressed with her. We brought her on staff, Ariyama. Oh, <clears throat> my goodness, speeches. Um, I was trying to think. Uh, I think I've been working for a long time. Um, I've been working since I was like 14. And I want to say even in creative spaces, as I got older, I don't think I've ever had a black woman boss, and at least not in this city, and um, and, I, and definitely not in other newsrooms. So this is kind of the first place where I feel like people get to be authentically themselves, and that's that's really cool. Um, I'm trying to think of something good to say, but <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's nice. It's nice that you know you don't get called out for being too direct or too weird or too ambitious. 
and it's nice to not be the only one who wants to lead and to have like a role model that is also already doing that. So that's kind of cool. Thank so you. Like <laughs> well, we want you all to be leaders. So thank you for feeling that way and wanting to lead. That's really important to me. I think that's great final words. And I don't that, there's our pull quote. How was that? <laughs> just gave it to us. I like the leading with grace one myself.